Hi everyone, in this video, I wanna talk about how you can use an external power supply with your microcontroller or a single board computer, such as a Raspberry Pi ESP32 or an Arduino like I have in this example. Right here, I have a nine volt battery representing the external power supply. And I have a DC motor representing a high current device and a relay switch representing any switch. Usually this is like a servo driver or uh, a DC motor driver, anything that can be controlled or a switch that can be controlled from our Arduino or a microcontroller. Uh, usually I get asked this question a lot, so I just wanted to show it in an example that can make it uh, simple and easy to understand. So the trick is to connect the ground and that's very much it. So you can see here, I have the ground pin for the Arduino and I'm going to connect that to the ground pin of the external power supply. That is the only trick. The rest of it is really simple. So if you, after you connect the ground, the rest of it is real easy. First, let's power our switch. Usually the switch gets a power from the Arduino. So let's give it a ground and let's go ahead and also give the switch uh, voltage so I'm gonna go to orange let's give it some 5 volt here because I want to save the red color for the battery 5 volt but this is the power for our switch let's say and actually since this is a 5 volt let's just make it red that will make more sense and so this is the power for our switch now our switch also going to need a data pin so let's go ahead and use pin seven. I'm gonna change the color to green. I'm gonna use pin seven. And let's assume this is our data pin to control the switch. This will turn on and off the switch. Now, uh, the rest, we just need to finish the circuit for our DC motor. And so let's go back and change the color and connect the ground. So I'm gonna take this ground pin and let's just connect that to the DC motor. And hopefully this is making sense. There you go. Now the rest of it or the last pin is just need to let's switch back to red, get this positive power through the switch. Again, the switch is going to be controlled from the Arduino using that pin seven, and that will power our DC uh, motor. So let's make that a little bit more in line. And there you go. Now you get the idea here. So we have a microcontroller, which is an Arduino in this example, controlling the switch. And then the switch, when it's on, it's going to pass power to the DC motor. When it's off, then it will cut off the power. Obviously you don't wanna connect the DC motor directly to the power supply because then it will be running nonstop. You need a switch in between. The switch is powered by the Arduino and you need to connect the ground. The ground of the Arduino need to be connected to the ground of your external power supply. In this case, the nine volt battery. Uh, this is very much it. Uh, it's not a good idea to, the reason we need this like external power is because it's not a good idea to connect anything with high current directly to your Arduino. While it might be possible, this is just not recommended, not a good idea, do not do it. So you need an external power supply. This will power the DC motor this way through the switch while the Arduino itself can still be powered from the USB. So if there's any high current or anything happens, this does not impact the Arduino. This is especially important if you have like a Raspberry Pi with an operating system running on that Raspberry Pi, any high current can impact that system and cause the system to restart or something like that. So you don't want that to happen. And that's why you wanna isolate the power. The Arduino can still be powered from the USB separate while the external power can power the DC motor in this case and without any impact to your Arduino or Raspberry Pi ESP32, you get the idea. Uh, this is it for this video. I hope this is helpful and I try to simplify this concept as much as possible. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And this is it for me. If you like what you see, please consider like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.